Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today we're going to do, oh, I got the key here. I didn't even tell you what I wanted to read about cards. <laughs> I better change. Um, change. Ring. Clear them. Uh, today I'm doing a Lenormand on the planets. And I just did King Charles and Camilla. And it's so interesting how couples, their cards match up. So I'm doing Lenormand on the planets. So it's the same thing. Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. I'm going to put one Lenormand on each card and see what the planets are trying to tell us. And I'll do a couples reading at the same time. Um, so uh, this is... On the other one I showed, but in case you didn't watch King Charles and Queen Camilla, this is Simply Le Normand. It's a, uh, I, I put it up close so you can see it. Uh, I got these on Etsy and I got them in 2021. So I don't know if she still has them available. I got them in the card size, which has the planets and your um, zodiac and whatnot. And then I got the travel size. So I thought this would be a nice matching set. I used the planets from the big side and then the travel Lenormand on for to put on top. Now you don't have to actually go out and buy something like this. All you need is a bigger set of tarot cards that have the pl planets and then you can put any kind of oracle card on, on, on them that you want. I just like to put these cards out so you can follow along what planet we are talking about. So, William, what do the planets want to tell us through Lenormand cards about William? What do the planets want to tell us through Lenormand cards about William? What do the planets want to tell us about through Lenormand cards about William? Cards are ready. Oh, the tower on the moon. The past is really on his mind. Oh, the bouquet on the mercury. I'm going to tell you that right away. That's actually very true. The dog on the Venus. Oh, Camilla got that one as well. The snake on the sun. The child on Mars. Interesting school books. I'll get, you, I'll get to that too. The fish on Jupiter, wow, you want that. And the stork on Saturn. And the underline is the key. Oh, the key showed up again. Okay, so the tower is the past. And it's on the full moon here, which tells us it's it's very emotional. Right now, the past is, is really on top of his mind. Is very emotional. He's bringing in a lot of his emotions from the past from important parts of the past, important people from the past in his life are very much on his mind. The past is um, actually occupying his mind. Like, do you ever have days like that? Why did I say that to that person? Why did I make that decision? Why didn't I go here? Why didn't I do this? This is where he is right now. Uh, with on On his moon, on the emotions, the planets are telling him, the, the moon is telling us he's really um, deeply into the past. He's not thinking a lot about the future. And I'm going to tell you why he's not going to be thinking about the future a lot. He's preferring to live in the past right now. Under Mercury, we have the bouquet, which means that this is his communications and uh, his business. And I'm going to show you what this is really, really good. They just... Uh, did that the mercury the bouquet is happiness and joy and I just did that reading yesterday about that next headlines we're going to see and I did say we would see them as a couple possibly in a garden or we'd see at least Catherine in a garden and they were they were outside it was joyful news so I thought they were going to mention something about uh, her illness, but it was joyful news congratulating Team GB, and they had other celebrities on there, and that's the bouquet. So that's all the people that are around there that were happy and joyful, and this is also telling me that that communication went off very well. People were really happy to see them, and this is all, you know, him with his beard and, and you know, a lot of great comments around that. 
So that actually is rings true, doesn't it? That uh, little they I think believe they posted on Instagram a little quick video, and uh, there was the two of them side by side, uh, looking happy and healthy and uh, full of joy and and great future ahead of them. Now under his Venus, this is his friends. He's got a lot of great friends around him. A lot of great. Fr He's got a lot of steady, loyal people around him. Venus is partnerships and love. And uh, this is telling me that right now uh, in his friendship zone, because that's what the dog is, the dog is also loyalty. He's got lots of loyal people around him. And that's what he's focusing on. Look at that. That's what the clock is, is telling me because on the sun, he has the snake. And I just did Camilla's and I did a big um, description of the snake. And I honestly think that this is Megan. The snake is generally someone who is jealous of you. They attack you for, you've done absolutely nothing wrong. And I did that reading that it, that her, that Chanel, Chanel, Chanel boy, my words, please, brain, tongue, connect. Thank you. Um, I did that reading that, who is Megan fixated on? And it's William and it's something to do with Charlotte. And look at the sneak pointing at the child. I think, I think William is really, I'm not saying he's obsessed. I think he is aware of this snake in the grass that can attack at any time. And they had to change their holiday plans. They had a family holiday planned and it was leaked out to the wrong people and leaked out a little bit to the media. And I think with this son, I think he was worried about exposing his family with his son. The son is, you know, the son exposes thing onto that snake. And I think they went in and they had to change to a super secret location that they can just have a, a family holiday. I think that's really sad, really sad. They can't even, you know, go somewhere. So perhaps we'll see pictures afterwards of where they are. But right now it's there. And I think that might be why the past is so on his mind. It's who in the past can hurt me or wants to hurt me. And I don't see coming. You don't see a snake coming. You're walking in the grass and out pops a snake and, and bites you in the ankle or scares you or something. You can't hear a snake coming. And I think this is something that he's quite concerned about, this dark-haired lady. And I think it has something to do with children. Uh, interesting, under Mars, under conflicts and aggressions and whatnot, we have children here. And I'm wondering if, and I, I said the school books, uh, and I'm wondering if something to do with the beginning of school or one of the schools the children are going to. Uh, it's definitely, we got the child here. So it's something to do. Uh, maybe it's the security at the school. And I don't like the way this snake is pointing at this child. Maybe it's an aggression with the with this snake's child. Maybe there, there's some conflict going on there that, um, you know, the treating of that child or the titles of that child or the school that the child is going to. There's something here with the, the snake and the child, though, that's creating a lot of aggression and conflict. That's actually kind of sad. Now, under the Jupiter, we have the fish, which is income. This is money and luck. He's in for a boatload of money. And I just did that reading. And um, it's interesting. Harry, Megan, and William all got great. They got the treasure box. And here this is showing up. And also we have uh, the, the bouquet on his Mercury and his Jupiter here. If I was him, I go be buying lottery tickets. If I got this reading for myself, I'd be buying lottery tickets. Uh, this is really happy news about money, like extremely happy. The bouquet and fish is normally winnings. 
just the fish by itself is money you earn on your own. The bouquet in fish is money that's gifted to you. That's your lottery win. That's your, sometimes it can be inheritance if the coffin is nearby. But look at that. Money is expanding on his Jupiter and the bouquet. I have, ah, he could be winning a lottery or coming into some kind of big, big money. And that could be why the snake is, is there, is showing up. Now, this we do interesting in Camilla's. We had the stork and the snake. It does, I mean, there's 36 cards for it to show up in a seven card reading, and we have it in the same position. The stork can't see the snake. If the stork is ahead of his, the stork is the only card that can kill the snake. This because the stork actually eats snakes out in real life. If the stork can see the snake facing the snake, the stork will decimate the snake, not necessarily kill it. I mean, not literally. Um, but we'll put the snake to quiet or scare the snake away. But interestingly, both William and Camilla cannot see the snake. And when we have the stork, the stork is change. And this is work and burdens on the Saturn card. There's some kind of big change coming to um, William's work and burdens. And it's something from the past. Now, he has the key here, and I haven't talked much about it because the key is the key that opens all doors, and it also can close doors. So is he looking at this? Is he going to be the one that takes on the burden of closing down the snake? of taking away the titles because it's something from the past. Well, in the past, they have the titles. So is he going to be the one that takes on that burden? Or is he going to be the one that opens a door that, um, that allows for them to um, be exiled, right? Here's the door, slither away, and now we lock it. So there's something that William has to deal. It's going to be William's problem. The snake is going to be William's problem. Definitely. Especially how the snake affects the children. Whether that's her children, his children, I don't know. Uh, but it definitely is affecting some children. I wonder, I wonder if it is little Archie where he goes to school. Or maybe the burden is and the conflict is that, you know, I think it might be the security of, of the, of where the children go to school. It's something to do with school age children though. Definitely. Cause they're holding a book here and babies can't hold books. Okay. Well, he's, and also his income is tied to the expansion of his work and burdens. So this is really not looking good for King Charles. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so let's see what's with Catherine now. But yeah, he's definitely going. I, if I was, if I got that reading for myself, I'd be running to the lottery store. I'm telling you that right now. Bouquet on Mercury, money on Jupiter. Holy. Oh. Now, could the snake be Catherine? Because it is a long hair, long uh, or dark haired lady. No, I, I mentioned in the other one that the snake landed on Mars and she's a Mars personality. And in this one, the snake landed on the sun and she's a Leo personality in the sun. If it, the snake landed on Venus, then that would be um, Catherine. All right. I just wanted to clear that before we go forward. And then if the if if the snake landed on Venus and we had the child here, then it'd be one of Catherine's children. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards it might have something to do with the snake's child. Because this so either the snake is going to attack one of his children, and we saw that it was Charlotte in the other reading, or um the snake is going to do something with one of her children. Okay, Catherine. Let's clear that reading off there. Catherine. Catherine. What do Lenormand cards have to say about and for Catherine? Lenormand. 
cards have to say about Catherine. Oh, that popped out here. Oh, the letter. Oh, and the hearing from friends. I, when I did her birthday reading, I think I said friends were going to be very, very important to her. Oh, interesting reading again. Oh, the ring on the full moon. And there was comment that she had a new ring. Isn't it, are these cards amazing? Oh, the scythe on the Mercury. Um, the garden on Venus. And she just was in a, in a garden and she looked fabulous. And people were pointing out how, how much better she looks. The mice on the sun. It could be the loss of her holiday. The, oh, now we have friends on Mars. Oh, letter on Jupiter. And the star on Saturn. What's the underlying here? Clover. Oh, she's coming into a very, very lucky time. Interesting, we have the ring on the moon. And this is emotions. And people are noticing she had a new eternity ring. We have to remember, um, you know, they just had an anniversary. And so maybe she got that for her anniversary this year. She got an eternity ring. That would make, that would be so beautiful that you know, uh, I want you to be happy and healthy for eternity. So this is uh, the ring that she got was very emotional to her. Also, her connections are very emotional right now. I think especially we keep reading that, uh, that William and Catherine are getting stronger and stronger as a couple, as uh, they mature, as they move through some of these extremely difficult times. And uh, she's very happy with her connections right now with, on that moon with the ring card. And um, a lot of the connections that she has right now will be with her or the connections that she's very happy with will be with her for the long term. All right. Even though we have this scythe here by Mercury, Mercury is communications and uh, commerce and whatnot. I think we're going to see her go silent for a while or and also with this site we'll see her pop up sporadically with with no notice all of a sudden she'll be there and I think that um like for example all of a sudden they're there on Instagram doing congratulations no warning no nothing it was sudden sudden communications and then go quiet sudden and then quiet and I think we're going to see that for a while I think we the Venus card the garden here, this is partnerships and love. I think we're going to see her on that bench again. I think we'll see her with, with William on that bench or outdoors. I think we're going to see, and I did read in that other reading that we'll see some pictures of her with the children, uh, right? This is love and partnerships. I think we're going to see a lot of her. When we do see her, we're going to see her outdoors, Outdoors, enjoying um, the garden, outdoors. Uh, also, the garden is society in general, so we might see her uh, doing something with the family outside. Uh, and I think with this partnerships and love here, I think she's really happy uh, to be out of her sequestered state. I think that uh, this also has a lot to do with the change of their holiday. The, just the sudden change of of where they were going to go on holiday. Um, yeah, so oh, loss on the sun. Now, this is what is is kind of really on her mind. I think she's worried about the time that she has lost with the children because we've got three here. So there's her three children and it's on the sun. And, it, and that's what I mean. I think this is, I think they had a really nice holiday planned with the children. And you think here's the two of them and the three children with the Venus and the sun. And I think that the fact that the location was leaked and they had to change it right away. Here's the communications, right? I think it's it it was kind of upsetting to her. I think she had a, a holiday that was really a connection holiday. I think it was in the sun somewhere. I believe it was outside of the UK. And it I, I'm thinking it was probably a beach holiday. You think of 
those beach pictures that she took of William and the children. I think they were really looking forward to being outside on a beach holiday and that had to change very quickly due to communication uh, of where they were being leaked, right? Communication leak had to change their plans. And I think, I think it's, it's been kind of upsetting to her to tell you the truth. And I'm wondering if a friend leaked that because under Mars, we have conflicts and aggression. I wonder if a friend inadvertently leaked that information and, um, it's interesting, this mouse card has their back to that friend. So it's I'm thinking like a loss of a friend over this. I don't know why that's so strong on my mind today. Uh, maybe that's the energy I'm picking up of them, of what's going on in in, in their life. And, and really, she looked happy. She looked fabulous in that um, quick video that they did. It was outdoors. Um, it was very quick communication popped up just like this said but I think there might have been a loss of a friend uh somebody wasn't loyal um you know loose limp loose lips sinks ships kind of thing and now the loss and even look at these flowers kind of match I think she lost a friend over that um yeah I think she's really upset with one of her friends because I really think they had a beautiful uh, they wanted to reconnect, uh, have time with the children, spend time outdoors. I really think they were going to some kind of beach holiday. Some of you might know where that was, where they canceled. It was out of country. So maybe like to Spain, Mallorca, something, um, you know, somewhere where there's a beautiful beach out of country. I would imagine that they would go too far with her illness. I imagine they'd want to stay in the EU, maybe even to Portugal you know, doesn't, um, you know, Eduardo have, is it our Eduardo or Jack? Jack and Eugenie. Maybe that's, maybe Eugenie showed her card again. Interesting. I just thought of that name. Maybe they were, yeah, I wonder. Anyways, they were spoiled and, you know, that's top of her mind right now. Uh, they did manage to get something else going uh, within the UK, so they have their royal security and it's very, very tightly closed where they will be. All right, so under her Jupiter, she has letter. I think that with her Mercury with the scythe and the letter on the, on her Jupiter, I think there's fast and furious communication that is going to expand for her. So whether she's trying to get things together and for her, I haven't read yet if she's going to go ahead with her Christmas concert, uh, but there's very fast and, and furious communication going, especially in the month of October uh, for her. I think we're there. So that's why I'm wondering if it's something like that, but her communication, this, cause this is the letter. So this is written communication. We might see more written communication. So more tweets kind of things from her, um, unexpected tweets and letters. And so the letter is like the messenger is brings you words, messages by words. The uh, letter is definitely messages by letters. So that's tweets texts, emails, actual physical mail, something, but it's something quick. So that's why I'm thinking it's, you know, something on the internet, uh, you know, and, you know, wrapping things up. This even could be lab reports coming from the doctor, wrapping things up. Now on her Saturn, she has the star card and that is work and burdens. And I'm wondering if, that's why I'm thinking the Christmas, because you think Christmas stars and whatnot. I'm wondering if she's trying to get something together for Christmas. And it's, and it's a lot more work and a lot more burdensome for her uh, than than she wants it to be. I, You know, the star is, I mean, on Saturn, you know, the star is, um, you know, your guiding star will get you to your goal. And Saturn is work and burden. So she'll eventually get there. She's a very hard worker. And, um, 
we might see a Christmas concert. Uh, so she has the clover here. So even the bad things aren't as terrible for her. They'll be easy to overcome. So they'll be disappointing, but it's not something that's going to drag on forever. Also, the clover, when you're dealing with, with health issues, can be new medication. So she may be on a new medication that um, really helps her a lot. Like, and for example, I know, you know, I, I've mentioned before, how can you not have friends or family to, that have had all types of cancers? I know afterwards, sometimes a lot of people who have had chemo or radiation, then they go on a natural regime of herbs and uh, to try and clean out some of the heavy metals in their bodies. And sometimes clover, well, clover is natural. So she might be on something like that. Uh, right now also so that also could be indicative of that but I she has a lot of luck in communications um, you know even discovering what this friend that leaked this information early was lucky and the fact that they could change something so quickly and still have a holiday that kind of thing you know almost like a silver lining to everything this year so that is what's on Catherine's mind. I think her, her what's really, I think getting back to work right now, she may be, you know, trying to get some things going with that letter expansion. Things are going to start to expand in her world, in her written world somehow. And with a star on, on, on it, some things are going to need to come to fruition for her. So maybe this is uh, coming up with my, uh, prediction that she'll be part time in the autumn and then full time once after after Christmas in January. And Saturn is her time. That's the um, Capricorn time. So she might come out full time in in January uh, during uh, shortly after her birthday, perhaps. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I sure appreciate you. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>